this is Denise from LumaHat.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make these grips. They can be for your pencils, your loom knitting hook, or even a crochet hook. And they're made with uh, two rows of six pegs using any kind of loom. It could be this straight loom which is your best bet or if you don't have two, you don't have a straight loom you could just take two round looms and bring them together as long as you have six pegs and two rows it's gonna work you can just connect them with the same rubber bands like this and this will work if you have a spool loom it only has five pegs instead of six but it's gonna work the same um, especially if you don't need your grip to be too big okay and then you just need um, some rubber bands and the number of rubber bands is gonna depend on the length of your project. In this case I used uh, 74 rubber bands for this uh, loom knitting hook. Of course it took a few less for my crochet hook and the pencil took half as much because I was only doing the bottom portion. And on the pencil by the way you can move it up when you need to sharpen the pencil which I've been asked about that. Alright so it's a pretty simple project. Uh, you will need to have two types of hook at the end um, if you're going to make a grip for one of these hooks uh, because at the end you need a hook so if you're making your grip for your loom kneading hook then either have a spare one or a crochet either one will work just fine okay so get your materials and let's start I wanted to give you a heads up that if you are gonna make your grip in colors like this and stripes each stripe is going to take you six uh, rubber bands so if you only have five say of yellow it's probably not a good idea to add a yellow stripe to your grip um, and another thing that I wanted to tell you is that this is going to work real good for folks say with um, arthritis or some issue grabbing these much thinner hooks or um, whether it be a loom kneading hook or a crochet hook this works really good and uh, if you can you look here you're gonna see the difference in the volume and the size of this regular hook and one that has the grip on it these are the same type of hooks these are both uh, nifty knitters just that this one has uh, that grip that we're gonna create right now and this one doesn't and uh, I've grown to really like using the hook with the grip on it it feels a lot better and since they're rubber bands they're kind of I don't know mushy gushy whatever you want to call it it's a nice grip on your hand especially if you're going to be knitting for a while this feels a lot better than the original uh, much harder rubber grip uh, for this project i'm not going to make um, a grip that has the whole hook covered just because of time but if you're going to want to cover the grip completely like this um, you're going to have to get this bottom part removed it's just going to work better in order to get this part of the grip attached to the bottom. And uh, this worked out great for me because I had this hook for so long that the bottom fell out. Okay, so that just made it easier. Uh, if you want to take it out, um, I don't know what it would take to just take it out on its own. Probably grab another hook and pull this little back part off in order to get um, this uh, metal piece to come out of the bottom and it just holds the grip better if your plan is to cover the hook completely if it's not and it's just to do some something like this uh, either pencil grip or like I did this crochet hook where I only covered the part where my hand actually grips I didn't put it on the whole hook then you don't have that worry okay so uh, let's start with this project like I said you were gonna use two rows and six pegs and I'm gonna start mine with black you can start whatever color you want the color is irrelevant we're just gonna use technique here and um, we're going to start with our base and for that reason this first set of um, rubber bands we're gonna make this figure eight with them and this basically forms the base so you're going to go from front row to back and then across three pegs right and then you're going to come from the top 
down and always you doing this uh, figure eight and try to keep the pattern it just makes it better so if you start it from here and you're going from uh, left to right then uh, continue doing it that way it's just going to be easier if you follow a pattern than if you just go random okay so since this is our base this was our first row and you're always going to need one uh, a pair of bottom uh, rubber bands and a pair of top rubber bands in order to bring the bottom over to the top naturally because we're loom knitting and so this bottom one like I said is our base and we need to put a second row to avoid confusion I would say to at least use two colors uh, if you don't want to you don't have to but I'm gonna be honest with you finding your bottom two and distinguishing them from your top two when everything is the same color it doesn't sound like it's gonna be a problem but it is all right so now we've got a bottom set and a top set and we're ready to knit so you're just gonna take your hook and grab those bottom two and bringing and you're gonna bring them over your top two and um, doing that can get a little difficult if you try to just you know use the hook if you use your your finger to push those bottom two into the hook it just works better okay just a suggestion you can if it works without doing it for you then that's fine I just find that I can't seem to get my rubber bands onto my hook if I don't put my nail there okay so that was my first row now all I have to do is push these rubber bands down and now I'm going to place my next color okay and once you've done that base again you're placing your rubber bands you don't need to do that figure eight anymore it's only that first row which is your base row so now I'm putting my next color on here I'm placing my rubber bands and as I place them you notice that even though I'm only using a single rubber band because I'm putting one on top of the other it creates two rubber bands see that you get two loops per rubber band okay so now you have a bottom row and a top row and again you're just going to take your hook and get your hook into those two bottom uh, rubber bands and bring those two up and over the top two two bottoms over the top two and you're just bringing them over easy 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 I basically taught you how to do it that quick so let's get these bottom two over the top two bottom two over the top two and you can Im you immediately you see the grip forming right you're gonna push them down and then you're gonna go to your next color okay so I'm not gonna bore you with the same thing because um, it's not too difficult I got faith in you guys and you know what you're doing at this point and I don't have to show you anymore so you're gonna make the grip the length that you want and then we're gonna come back so I can show you just do the length don't move ahead of me sometimes we feel like we got it it's best to just get to the length that you want and then I'm gonna show you the next step alright I'll see you then okay so I've loomed it the length that I wanted my grip to be and I'm going to put it on this hook and so I need that hook available if you're gonna do a pencil then make sure that the pencil is available and what we're gonna do is as you can see uh, an opening is here in the middle and you have the other end here and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the back part of whatever it is you're going to use and you're going to stick that in there and push it down until the top is on the other end now if this was my pencil then of course this would be um, where the lead is or my crochet hook it would be that top right there right that's what would be sticking out over here and if you want before you push all the way down you can 
neaten this up so it doesn't look like this and what I do is I get these little loose ones and I bring them over like that and you could do it with your hand or another hook like this you can bring two at a time one at a time I do it with my hand and I do two at a time I just find it easier and I come here to the other end until I've had all of them placed on my edge okay and like I was saying before here's another instant where it's better if these two rows are different colors than if they're the same so that you know that you're just putting that last row on your edge okay so um, that's the back portion and now I'm gonna go ahead and push my hook back where I wanted it because now this end is nice and neat okay and it's usually easier when um, you don't have such a big piece here but these um, nifty knitter hooks they're not always consistent in the length up here of the hook as opposed to the grip so you know you get what you get all right so now I'm gonna take these which should only have two loops on each peg and I'm gonna take whatever hook I'm going to be using in this case I wanted to use um, a crochet hook just so I could show you that you can use a crochet hook to do this project and just bring it over and put it like that into your hook okay and go ahead and do the same with all six of the pegs and as you see I'm bringing them both at the same time both loops I'm bringing them over with my crochet hook and uh, if you don't you're gonna have an issue like I just did right here so make sure that you have both both of them on your hook before you take your loop off your hook sometimes I like when things like this happen so you can see how I fix it all right so I'm gonna have to go into this pink one right here to pull the orange one I lost and bring it back out so that it can meet up with its friend and I can do this correctly there we go see problem resolved and now I just take them both and bring them over the hook and attach them like that and now I have these last three which I'm going to do the same thing bring it up and over and put my hook through those two loops and you don't even need a hook really you can almost do it with your fingers like this see as they say there's more than one way to skin a cat and there's more than one way to finish your loom knitting project sometimes this is one of those times all right so there you go you have a new hook oh, I'm sorry you have a new grip on your hook which for some people this makes it way easier to use I have grown to really like having this this thicker grip on my hook and it's so easy to do and you can do so many different things um, once you know how to make this little grip um, I like it I hope you did and if you did please give me a thumbs up and if you didn't like it please be gracious in your comments and until our next project together you guys have a great day goodbye